Hi there, Guitar Flipper here. Um, video 2 on Project 2. You may remember Project 1 started with uh, an old parts caster being broken down and sold on. Um, the parts on that actually sold within a few hours. They went really quick, which obviously means I've got the pricing right. Um, uh, pictures of the parts that I sold, yeah, basically a telly, a Mexican standard telly body and a few other little bits that I broke down. Uh, let's left with a good chunk of cash to invest in the next part of the project. I've used some, but not all, of the cash to buy this. This is a Epiphone Les Paul Studio So B Special Edition. Um, I've never seen one of these before. I've, I've, I know, I know. Obviously, I know a fair bit about Epiphones. I know nothing about these um, apparently so B is a US drinks manufacturer these have had five, 500 of these made maybe from what I can work out online 500 of these made maybe there's a competition prize there are, there's been a one, like one sold on eBay there's one on reverb that's for sale in California in the US and then this, um, but you know, as as far as it goes, it's bog standard Les Paul, um, Les Paul Studio. So no binding on the body, no binding on the neck, but you still got the good inlays, rather than the dots and whatever else. Actually, you know, it built together to be a very good Les Paul. So I've you know I've taken this apart, given it a clean, show you all the specs. Um, but yeah, it comes in this kind of black with this yellowy green uh, lizard motif. You get the So B logo on the uh, pick guard. My personal preference would be to leave leave it without a pick guard, or maybe get hold of a plain black one. You can get them for like three or four quid on eBay, um, and run it like that because. So be I've never never heard of as a company. I think, I think it's an American health drink, you know, sugary water crap. But you know, really, <clears throat> just looking at this as a guitar for its spec, and if you like the logo, if you want something different, that's pretty cool. You know, it's just like a lizard. You know. um, but yeah, the So Be series apparently there were four different guitars. They did another another Les Paul the same. With a different logo it had like flames coming up it um they did a les paul special so a flat top les paul possibly bolt on neck dot inlays uh open open humbuckers so it's more of a stripped back les paul and they did an sg as well i think there's those four did i say there were five i can't remember there i did find a dude selling yeah all four might have been five and it was like two thousand dollars or something for the whole collection <sighs> I don't quite understand the, the logic behind the um, you know the collectible nature of it unless you're into the drink I don't know but I'm, I'm selling this on its merits as a guitar you know, and it's a decent guitar uh, from what I can work out and it's a 2003 model this is Indian Rosewood these have got decent inlays you know normally they, you can, they kind of look really plasticky these look like they might be I'm pretty sure they're not. They look like they could be mother of pearl, you know. I've got a Gibson Les Paul, and they look like as good as the ones on my Gibson. They're really quite shiny and cool looking. Um, and even there, you know, if it's fake, maybe fake mother of pearl has got a lot better than it used to be. <laughs> um, uh, parts, the bridge part. I guess that's. I'm not. I don't take epiphone, epiphones apart very often. I'm not 100 percent sure. They're obviously you know, aftermarket. Um, whether well, the parts kind of standard on the Epiphones, but they're not not the ones that you'd get on a Gibson. The pickups are original. They're Epiphone. That's what they call a hot hot CH. The bridge that is a classic CH fifty seven CH. Whatever they call it. I believe that they're for, of guitars of this era. Era that's a um, as standard on Les Pauls and dots and things like that. Um, one thing I do have noticed, which is quite interesting, and what you can see in there, you can see, I mean, my iPad camera is pretty crap 
I, this little mark here, I took that away to look at the wood. You can you can see the different solid wood on the top. If you've got an Epiphone, I'm pretty sure if you get one with a fancy flame looking top, you know, where you can see the wood, it's gonna be like a, a, mil, a couple of mil veneer. This is mahogany body. Maybe maple, maybe another slab of mahogany on the top. Maybe maple, I don't know, I can't quite work that out. But that's a solid bit of wood. There's no butch matching, book matching in here. But that's a bit, you know, so you've got a guitar that's made out of um, real wood, basically. And actually taking it apart, comparing it to the fenders I've done recently, quality looks decent. You know, the, the, the routing's good inside. You know, there's no uh, polishing compound and stuff that you, you know, some you've been getting on the fenders a lot. Looking in the back. <coughs> that all looks really neat. I've seen Gibsons where they've got, you know, maybe six holes because they've messed up the drilling on that. This looks decent. Very neat. 500k pots, really neat soldering. Uh, real Grovers, Epiphone Limited Edition, if that means anything to you. I, I believe that they Grovers are standard. There's not a lot of information about these guitars. Condition of it is real good, I've cleaned it up. There's not a lot of you know, issues with it. The guy, well, I got it off obviously was a beginner and he had put extra fret marker stickers on. I've taken all the stickiness away, this is still just a little bit. I mean, I might get some white spirit or something to get that away just by giving it a, a, a water clean. There's still left those marks. Um, and then there is this. Yes. Smaller than my thumbnail. Obviously, a little ding there that's been kind of coloured. Coloured over. Uh, again, you can see in certain places. You can see the top. I can feel where the top. You know, the there's no binding. You can actually see the natural binding on the top. Um, so yeah, decent guitar. I'm going to be selling this for probably less than you'd get as Epiphone standard for. I think the, the colour on the top is obviously one of them things. You love it or you hate it. If you want something unique. You'll get it if you don't. You know, you want a guitar the same as what Slash uses, which is why I brought my Les Paul, to be honest. <laughs> um, then that's, you, you'll get one. But yeah, uh, I'm going to string it up, play it up, and hopefully do a video or a clip of um, some playing. But yeah, so that's the guitar. No, no real faults, no, no problems with it. Um, could be a cool little bargain for somebody but as always open for trades open for sale find it on the reverb links in the description and so on and so forth thank you bye bye